e-learning web system is a platform for the students to access the lecture notes, quizzes, assignments and discussions to assist them during the learning process. First, in our main page, we have a few checkboxes and buttons. The Remember Me checkbox allows the system to remember the user's username and password to ease the user to log in next time. The user must choose either I am a teacher or I am a student before log in to their account because there are differences between the interface of two accounts. We will look at the student account. After the user log in, they will come to the home page of the web system. Let's see what will happen when we click on the profile picture. The system will bring the user to the edit profile page. When the user click the save button after filling in all the details, there will be a pop-up message to confirm whether the user would like to save the changes. If the user clicks yes, then a message box will show to indicate that the changes are saved. Next, we will look at what will happen if we click on the courses button. The system will bring the user to a page where all the courses that the user takes will be displayed in a row. After clicking into one of the subjects, there will be four circles for notes, assignments, quizzes and online learning. There is nothing special for notes and quizzes, so let's have a look on the assignments. In the assignment page, there is a delete and submit button. Delete button is used to delete submitted assignments, while submit button is to submit your assignment by attaching the file. If the user is trying to delete a submitted assignment, a message box will show to confirm his action. Another message box will show when they confirm their action by clicking on the Yes button. Same thing happens when users click on the Submit button. Now, we will click on the Back button to return to the previous page and have a look on online learning. There will be a message box to confirm with the user when they click on the Cancel button to stop the online learning. If they choose yes, they will go to the previous page and if they choose no, they will stay on the same page. There is a bar on the left hand side of every interface. Now let me explain the function of every button on the bar. Firstly, the menu button is to control the appearance of the buttons below it. Now we will try to click on the menu button and the button below it will disappear. And when we click on the menu button again, the buttons below it will reappear again. The home button is as usual will bring us to back to the home page. Same goes to search, chat, calendar and reminder buttons. The buttons will bring us to the corresponding interface. Next, we will log out from the student account and log in to a teacher's account to discover the differences between these two accounts. There is nothing much different, just that a in a teacher's account, we have an online teaching button instead of online learning and there is a place for the teachers to view the students' grade. In notes, assignments and quizzes, there is also a slightly different between the interface of students and teachers, where a teacher is able to edit those items but students are not allowed to do so. In every interface, we have a back button to allow the users to go back to the previous page. The bar beside also allows the users to go back to home page, search, chat, calendar, reminder and log out easily. For new users, we provide a place for them to sign up. They will also have a message box to inform the user when they have signed up successfully. For those who forgot their password, they can click on the Forget Password button. When they choose to get their password through email, a message box will show to ask them to check their mailbox.